Last time we looked at the profit and loss account and this time we're going to look at the balance sheet and where that money that you made on the profit and loss goes to. So the balance sheet records the value of the assets in the company in various sections depending on, depending on the nature of them. So we'll start off at the top, the fixed assets. Fixed assets are all the, um, the solid things, they never change, so they might be buildings, plant, uh, all the furniture. Um, so in our example, um, we've got in Smith & Jones, these are our toy makers you remember from last time, we've got £50,000 worth of fixed assets. And then current assets and current liabilities. Now these are the ones I like to describe as things that are cash or will turn into cash or money that you've got to pay out from the cash that you've made. So current assets, these would include things like the money in the bank account, the stock that you've got, which will obviously turn into cash when it's sold, the debtors, that's the money you're owed. So we've got current assets of £40,000. Then current liabilities, so we've, we've made the cash, we've turned the debtors and the stock and everything into cash, what are we going to pay out? Um, so that would include things like corporation tax, the VAT, if you've got a bank overdraft, obviously you've got to fund that, and things like bank loans. So in our example, we've got liabilities, current liabilities of 20, and that gives you what we call a, a net current liability, net current assets or liabilities, which is the difference between the two, which in our example is £20,000. And then we move on to long-term liabilities. Now these are things that aren't payable immediately, so bank loans perhaps are over five years, so obviously one year is current and the remaining four aren't. So perhaps in our case we bought some plant within our fixed assets for £50,000 and part of that's payable with a loan over a number of years and we've got £10,000 left. So we've got a total of fixed assets and current assets of £70,000, less long term liabilities of 10, leaves us with £60,000. So how's that been earned? That's um, where we come to the reserves of the company. Um, now these come from the profit and loss account. For the uh, example from last, sheet, last week, we made £20,000. And if we look at a limited company, we often have share capital as well. Uh, so the share capital is the money you put into the company at the beginning of £10,000. And we've got retained reserves. These are the reserves we had last year. So this is the, the money that we made in the past, we made 20 this year, historically we've made 30. So this shows the amount of money that we've built up in the business through generating the profits in the profit and loss account. So once again, this is the balance sheet, has to balance, so £60,000. Now the biggest thing of interest on the balance sheet is how much is available. So at the moment we've got £60,000 available. And in profit and loss, we've got £50,000 reserves. Now that's the money that we can draw dividends from. If we look at last year's, for example, and it was uh, £50,000 on the balance sheet last year, then we've got more money this year than we had last year, so we've actually left more money in the company. So this hopefully shows you what the balance sheet is about, um, and it also shows you for the amount of dividends that you can pay out. So for last year, on the profit and loss account, we had £30,000, we made another twenty, so we've actually gained by £20,000 this year. So we've actually, by not drawing all of that profit out of the company, managed to make more money. And the amount that we can draw is based on the amount of money on the balance sheet. So for this year, looking at the dividend tax, if we wanted to, we could draw £50,000 out of the company without a problem. So it's something to think about on the dividend tax. If you've got any questions, of course, you can ask me.